How was uh, how's the defense been the first few days of practice? You know what? I, I've been I was pleased today with the energy. You know, today we did a little bit of third down, started installing that. So, you know, still plenty to, to clean up. We're going to need all those days all the way till you know, September 4th. But the energy of this group is good, and they need to keep it that way. You know, I was expecting it would be like that with the, the strong senior leadership we have at every single level. And, you know, the, the mixture of adding those young guys in and that, that young sort of enthusiasm that they have, you know, excited to be out there. And the thing that, that's really good is the sort of the camaraderie they're showing to each other. You know, young guys feeling like they can, you know, cheer on old guys and vice versa, the old guys getting fired up for young guys making plays. So that's what's good. Again, still a lot to clean up, um, you know, and, and, and fix, but, you know, we'll get that done. I'm just, I just like the energy. On, on the defensive line, you've got a lot of guys who – Spent last year as freshmen. How, how how did those guys use that year, and uh, how have they just have you seen them grown? You know, in this camp. I have. You know what? I, from a movement standpoint, for those those guys up front, I think they're moving better. Um, last year, I think they were a, a little rigid in, in some of their movements. You know, having a whole year with with Coach Ed, Coach Hill there in the weight room. Um, you know, an entire year with Coach Stewart, working those steps, working the footwork. Hey, listen, when you're a young guy and you're a young D lineman and you come in and you've got a 300 pounder that's about six inches away from your face, like you're not really thinking about stepping and moving away from like, you're, you're making sure that you try not to get knocked off the ball. So now they can they can do two things at once, all right? They can chew, they can walk and chew bubble gum. They can move while striking. So um, that that's growth. You know, we're, we're not there yet, but we're getting there. You know what, I, I think it'll naturally sort of take care of itself. You know, if you try to force too many things, you know, hey, listen, we got plenty of reps. Coach does a nice job of, of getting us enough reps out of practice. So uh, I don't think any of those guys would complain that they're they're not tired at the end of practice. <laughs> they get plenty. Uh, they run enough. And so we, they'll all get work, which is good, because then we can get a, a clean eval for each single one of them. Um, it'll be good to see in the scrimmage. You know, really, it cleans it up a little bit when you when you have to tackle to the ground. Who can make open field tackles? That's a huge part of being a safety. Um, and then having the knowledge and the understanding. There's a lot of different things that happen. A lot of different motions and shifts, uh, checks, alignments. Uh, so that that'll just sort of clean out itself. But hey, listen, you can't. I think Coach has said it before. Is that you can't have enough DBs. You can't have enough quality DBs in this league. Are you getting the level of play from Monte? You know. You know, compared to where he was at last year, is he, you feel him more like himself? D-Rob? Yeah. Yeah, I did. D-Rob is starting to look more like himself. You know, he's, uh, you know, weight-wise it's down, which is great. He looks, you know, so much better. You can tell the confidence level that he's playing with right now. Um, so that's encouraging to see. He's, he's making plays, and with every play that he makes, it adds to the confidence level. And so much about that position is just building the confidence back. And... Uh, he's going to have to be a big contributor for us. There's no doubt about that. Have there been any pass catchers in particular that kind of give you guys some headaches? No, I, I think that the whole group, you know, over there is doing a good job. I think, uh, you know, for me, from a, a defensive side looking on, I, I never really, when we go against our offense, it's not about, hey, which number's out there, who's catching balls, who's giving us issues. Um, it's more about the scheme of the defense. And so, I'd be lying to say that one or, or two are doing better than the others. You know, you'd have to ask, you know, the offensive guys. Is that, is that offense, is that something y'all, you foresee, like, seeing regularly uh, this fall at all? You know what? <laughs> you never know what you're going to see from year to year. I, it's funny, offenses, defenses are the same way. You know, you have these off-season clinics, you get together, and then they become sort of an offense or a system or – you know, really plays of the year, and then you see every team run them, even if it didn't used to be sort of base to their package, that they run it every week. And, and really what we'll, you know, everybody sees is the plays that hurt you early in the season, you know you're going to have to defend them the rest of the season. So we've got to do a good job of trying to limit, you know, those plays that, that get us exposed. 
Um, and if we do get exposed, just be ready. We're going to see it for you know other than 10 the, games. The quote unquote uh, usual suspects, other than Carrington, who, who, who you see stepping up uh, and, and being the guy that's going to really shine on it all the time. You know what? I, I, I've been. There's certain guys that have flashed, um, but to, to isolate one, you know, I think this early, I, I really think you need to sort of get through a first scrimmage and say, okay, who can really, who can pin a ball carrier to the ground in a live scrimmage when, hey, the ball's moving, there's tempo. Hey, who can really rush the passer when it's, hey, I've gotten a breath, I've sit down, I know it's a blitz period. Hey, that's easy to tee off. But can you do it in a live game situation? And it's so it's so funny. Sometimes you feel like, hey, man, we just had a great week, you know, of defense against the offense. You go into a scrimmage, and then you just get, you know, you get whitewashed. And it's because it's completely different. Scripted practice reps are different than non-scripted scrimmage reps. So to to be able to to tab anybody this early, you know, I think would be you know unfair. And, uh, Brad, how, how challenging has it been for you with Liam coming in with his new system to kind of coordinate with him to make sure that the offense and the defense both get good bang for their buck? You know what? I, I don't think it's been that challenging. Yes, there are certain plays that, that we may see that they don't, that's not necessarily based to their system. Um, but what they're doing offensively is great for our guys. And so. You know what? I, I don't see it as a, a negative. I see it as a positive. I see it as our guys having to adapt and adjust to things uh, that are a little bit new. I think it's great for us coaches to be able to have to adapt on the fly. Uh, so, for for the few you know negatives of maybe not getting a, a self scouted rep or whatnot, you know, I think the positives way you know far outweigh that. You're not letting up on him at all, are you? So I'm just I ask Coach Cohen every day if he could just let up on me a little. Just <laughs> uh, how's, how's JJ Weaver progressing? Uh, moving along, you know, it's it, again. It, I think he's you know, sort of on track. He's working hard. That's all we can ask. Uh, and it will be patient and very, very methodical in terms of how we uh, incorporate him back. But from an effort standpoint, from a locked-in mental standpoint, you can't ask for anything more than what he's given. Thank you, Coach. Oh, we got.